afternoon and welcome to today's video. So again we're looking at the uh, JVC and we're going to be trying to set up the um, VCR so that it actually plays back in some kind of normal sort of playback speed. Now for this process I think you need the actual original remote control um, because according to the setup in the manual this is for the equivalent 3v16 which is the Ferguson version and uh, I've been very kindly loaned this manual and it will hopefully prove invaluable for this particular process. I also have this uh, more accurate probe on the oscilloscope which hopefully will help us um, in our quest to sorting this out. So we need to skip towards the section in the manual uh, which is titled electronic adjustments and we've got a whole section here about electronic adjustments so one of the first things that I want to look at is the servo circuits so the capstan is the one that seems to be causing us some trouble. So we're going to take a look at capstan sampling position. So play back the alignment test tape. Uh, set the unit for fast playback mode, which it's now in. And we need to adjust. R109 which is speed position for 6 volts so I'm not sure how I'm going to measure the voltage off of that but let's see so it's probably going to be an alternating voltage so R109 is going to be one of these R109 is R106, R114, R11, R106. Let's have a look at the rear of it. So we've got So R109, so from what I can tell, is this one. Now I think the manual actually tells us. So if we take a look in the manual, I'm sure there is somewhere that tells you which each one is. Not sure if it's on one of these. So we have, oh, that's the pre-recorder amplifier circuit, so I don't think it's that. Uh, this is the luminance chrominance, that's the colour board. And here we are. So we have R109, which is that one. That's R106, that's R114. So normal position, speed position, slow pulse. So it's those three that I think we need to focus on. So it tells me that R109 needs to be at 6.0 plus or minus 0.2 volts DC. So if we actually have that other slide out so we can actually tell which one we're looking at. Not that one, this one. We have that out as well. We are looking at this one. I don't think you could see there, but we are, if I just come up and come down to the board, we're looking at this one, 
and it needs to be six volts. So. During this part of the video I've decided to speed up um, all of the video itself. Uh, if you want to watch the full copy there is um, a more in-depth copy which is the entire video and all of these various adjustments and tests that I try to make to get this machine working. However I've come to a point with this where I'm not sure where to proceed next. I need to check a couple of things, possibly looking at the power supply, making sure that the power supply is giving the correct output, because it seems when measuring the voltage over um, or from this, one of the potentiometers, I'm not getting a full 6 volts. So it could be a resistor in the lead up to that particular potentiometer, it could be the power supply not outputting everything correctly. Um, anyway, we'll be yeah, moving back to the main audio. Journey. We've got to a point where we do seem to have picture, but I'm not getting a correct voltage off of that potentiometer, so it could be a potentiometer issue. Um, my scope is not the most useful of things, unfortunately, bless it, but you know, it is about 100 years old. It's not 100 years old, you know what I mean? It's not a new scope. Um, really not sure. Anyway, I think that's it for now. Um, I think that is it for this machine for the minute. Uh, if you found this video entertaining, hit the like button. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and we're going to be probably moving on to something different, a uh, different project next week. Um, anyway, thanks again, and we will see you soon.